Hi and welcome to another episode of Baranov TV designed to demystify the world of accounts and tax and to help your business grow. In this week's episode I wanted to talk about the fact that a sale is only a sale when the money for that sale and whether it's a product or a service actually hits your bank account. Um, it's really easy for us to be really focused on the front end of that sales process and we're constantly looking for new leads and new customers. Um, but what we need to make sure that we focus on is actually seeing those sales um, through the final hoop, which is getting the money for them into your bank account. Um, people tend, if they don't pay their bills straight off, um, they can fall into one of three categories. Either they're a, I've forgotten to pay and they're entirely genuine. They're a can't pay, in which case they don't have the cash to actually pay you for whatever you've supplied to them, or they're a won't pay. Um, and there are different things that you can do if they fall into that won't pay category, um, where they've actually um, appointed you to um, provide them with whatever product or service, and then they've decided that actually they don't want to pay for it. Um, so what can you do? Well, the first thing you need to think about is actually educating your customers that um, you do expect payment at the back end. And part of that is the work you need to do at the front end, and you should have really good terms and conditions that they sign um, that actually ties them into paying and that are enforceable ideally reviewed by a solicitor um, and enforceable at the back end if they decide that they're not going to pay and they drag their heels. But really today we're looking at those people in the first category and maybe into the second, people that just don't remember that they've got that liability to you. Um, and it's really easy to be so focused on the front end that we forget that we need to be following up with these people and just reminding them normally, possibly several times to actually get those funds through to you. So what I wanted to recommend today was that you look at um, two apps that both on to both Xero and QuickBooks that will automate a lot of that initial, the initial stages of follow up for you. Um, there is some setup with both of them, as you'd expect, as there would be if you employed somebody to do your telephone follow up or if you were chasing for funds. Um, but once that that um, tailoring and that setup process has been completed, both of them effectively automate as much of that process as you want them to. Um, now, the two apps that I'm talking about are Debtor Daddy um, and also Chaser. Both of them do similar functions. They both have a starting point at around about £25 per month. And what you can do is you can actually set the sys both systems up so that um, you will send automatically um, reminders at key points through the cycle that you decide on to your customers. Now, we used to use Debtor Daddy in our last business and it made a massive difference to our cash flow. Um, historically, um, we'd been we used to do a lot of telephone collections and we used to send lots and lots of emails, but it was very labour intensive. And what we found was that by using, like, utilising Debtor Daddy, it took all of that front end work out. They were automated reminders that go out and you can set them up so that they're different voices. So you decide which category your customers fall into. If it's someone you, that you think is absolutely genuine, then they get a really soft approach and a soft voice throughout the different templates. Um, if it's somebody that you that is a, a, a repeat offender, then you might want to be a bit sterner. And you can have in both systems, you can have different voices and different sets of templates that go out and they can go out at different points. Now, what we would recommend for both of them is that before the invoice falls due, that a reminder goes out to say, this is a copy of your invoice. Remember, please, that your your payment is due in seven days or whatever it might be. And then you've got our subsequent follow ups after that. Where the two systems differ is that on Chaser, you can escalate, depending on which option you go for, you can escalate so that your emails are seen to come from a different person. So it could be a manager, it could be a director, and you can actually have them so that they go automatically to the person that you originally agreed the sale to, and then you can escalate them so that they go to their superior too. So Chaser is slightly more tailorable, um, but I Either of them works really, really well for those customers that need either 
reminders because they're really busy and they, they're a little bit disorganized perhaps. Um, also, it does start to impact on those that um, are less likely and less inclined to pay you because it educates them to say that you're not going to forget about it. You are going to keep them on follow. You are going to keep reminding them and asking them for the money. Um, and part of the process of getting your cash in is to educate clients to make sure that actually they realise that they do need to pay you. Beyond that, both systems enable you to free up some additional time for your whoever does your telephone collections or your general collections by taking away the easier collection side of it and the day-to-day the -day admin side of it. It frees that, that resource to make sure that they're on the phones and that they're working the phones and they are going back to people that aren't returning their messages and they are promptly just saying, well, you promised me you'd pay me by Friday and we haven't had it now. It's Tuesday. Tuesday, what's happening? And again, that's an education process. So we would strongly recommend Debtor Daddy or um, Chaser. Um, if you are not able to move your clients over to something like Go Cardless, where they're paying you by direct debit, then we would definitely recommend either Debtor Daddy or Chaser. Oh, as ever, if you would like to have a chat about either process, then do get in touch. That's what we're here to help you with. Or any other aspect of your cash flow, obviously, do please pick up the call, pick up the phone, drop us an email and we'd be happy to help. Um, I'll leave you with those two. Do have a look at the two websites and I'll see you very soon.